Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals News Graphic Lady Cardinals Coaches Show, the first edition of 2019. And if it goes as well as 2018 did, the end of it, uh, the start of this season, we're going to have some fun here in the next few weeks. As the Lady Cards are 12 and 0, actually they're 13 and 0 because they won a game uh, upon their return that we'll talk about as well. But they picked up six victories over the holidays: three in Tennessee and Bristol at the Arby's Classic, and three more at the Palm Beach Classic down in Florida. Boy, they're, they're, I, I envied them the whole time they were down there. I got a lot of stories about the 80-degree weather and the beach time and the pool time, but they had some serious work to do on the basketball court as well, and the Lady Cards picked up some big wins down there. If you look at the last six games, I think they've beaten teams from five different states. It, it's been an incredible run here. It's just so many different contrasting styles of play. Not the least of which was Ramsey out of Birmingham, Alabama in the final of that Palm Beach Classic Tournament. It was a battle for a half. The game was tied at halftime. And then Scott County just turned it up a notch. It's outside shooting started. The shots started to fall. Ramsey didn't really have the outside shooters to match. They had to rely on their athleticism, their size, their toughness. And Scott County's quickness and scrappiness and all the things that we say about these Kentucky teams that are so good finally just enabled them to pull away for a 69-51 to victory. That was the closest game down there, believe it or not, as uh, they tore up the first two opponents. Uh, one, from the, one of the host teams from Florida beat them in the semifinals, 84-50. to I believe that was Palm Beach Lakes. And before that, they played Dr. Crop out of Miami, Florida, and handled that one as well. So those three wins really got the cards some national notice. Lady Cards now up to number 80 in the Max Preps rankings. And they're actually number one in at least one Kentucky computer ranking assessment as well. But I think the perception is that maybe because they've played so many out-of-state opponents that there's a, some doubters out there. There are people that want to see how they're going to handle playing some of the better teams in Kentucky. We will certainly get a chance to see that at the Toyota Classic in a couple weeks. But first things first, Scott County played on Wednesday night as they took on Madison Central, an 11th region rival, a team that's always given them trouble, beat Scott County two years ago in the SC gym and then uh, kind of slowed it down last year and it was a, a tough battle as well. But uh, no, no struggle this year at all for SC with an 85-35 to 35 victory. Morgan to four with 28 points. Had 25 of those in the second and third quarters alone. Got to talk about Friday night's game. It will be the news graphic live stream of the week. It will also be a rematch, uh, actually a rematch of two games from last year, two distinctly different games, as DuPont Manual comes to town. You may remember Scott County won in Louisville over Manual in January and was feeling pretty good about themselves after that game. And that was kind of the start of a big winning streak to end the regular season. The teams had a rematch in the first round of the KHS AA Sweet 16 up in Northern Kentucky, and Manuel owned that one. It was, uh, it was convincing for the, the Lady Crimsons. So this is kind of the, uh, the tiebreaker, if you will, the third time around. It's a different Manuel team. It's also a different Scott County team. Uh, neither team has the, probably the same depth they had last year, but Manuel still has Nyla Blackford, uh, a Division I center. She's already signed, and I believe it's Kent State. She's a, she's a player to watch, and certainly with Malia Owens already signed with Tennessee Tech, Morgan DeFore, who we've mentioned, the big players in the middle, Malaya Williams and Kennedy Tompkins. This might be Scott County's turn to, to get some payback. I know uh, Coach Helton is kind of trying to use some of that as motivation this week, and we'll see how that plays Friday night. It doesn't get any easier on Saturday, and there's no rest for the weary. Is about 18 hours later, SC will travel down to Lincoln County for a, a neutral site game against Pulaski Southwestern, their team that's been ranked in the top 25 in Kentucky for most of the season so far. So a lot of uh, challenges here going forward as we move into the month of January. I know Coach Helton is looking forward to next week when the schedule lightens up a little bit and he can get some practice in. We're talking about practice. He loves practice, and uh, we're going to see how that helps Lady Cards as they go into the Toyota Classic and some tougher competition later on in January. We talked with Coach Helton. He's pleased. He loves to get out and see the world, I think, show his team some of that uh, college-level experience, if you will, riding on a bus. In the case of the Florida tournament, it was a 40-hour round trip, so uh, maybe not the, the best, most enjoyable part of that excursion for sure. But Let's see what Coach Helton had to say about the uh, Christmas tournaments and all that the Cards gained from. Scott County ran the table with six wins in two Southern tournaments. 
great way to uh, go into the holidays, great way to come out of the holidays. Uh, two very different tournaments uh, from Bristol, very methodical, very well coached teams who wanted to control the tempo. Uh, all three games, tempo was number one for us. Nobody wanted to run with us. And, uh, you know, I got that championship game against Eleven in Virginia, and they sure didn't want to run with us. And we sure didn't want to play half court because they were well coached, uh, spaced the floor well, uh, and we had to run. Go down to Florida, to West Palm Beach, and it was athlete one, athlete two, athlete three, athlete four. Oh my goodness, they just keep coming athletes. Uh, very physical style of play. So, uh, you know, totally different game plans. Those teams want to run. Uh, they, they just didn't want to run uh, with as much organization as we did. So, uh, very, very, uh, holidays went well. The holiday tournaments confronted the Lady Cards with contrasting styles. You know, really well coached teams down in Tennessee, uh, you know, just their spacing, the way they played the game, is a lot of, uh, I call it West Coast style, pick and pass away, or you know, pass and pick away, and a lot of triangle stuff. Uh, you go down to Florida, and it's just athlete, athlete, athlete. Uh, but we never ran into that team that had that mixture, that had those athletes that could shoot, uh, that had those athletes that come out and play the full court game. Uh, most of the athletes that we seen down there, they, they press some, but you know, we want to press 32 minutes. Um, it was, the game was, you leave one of our shooters open, we're going to find the ball to him and we're going to eventually get a shot. You know, down there, uh, those athletes, we, we took our chances and made them shoot the ball from the perimeter. And, uh, you know, the adjustments that they made, um, we, we were very fortunate to continue to rebound the ball. Uh, decent. You know, we didn't out-rebound them, but we rebounded with them. And, I mean, th th these kids were D1 bodies. You know, the number uh, 11 and was, you know, 10 and 1, 9 and 1 going into that championship game. Uh, Lakes was number three in Florida uh, in the semis, and then we played number uh, two or three in Alabama, in Ramsey, Alabama, who's in there with Hoover, uh, you know, some very good teams. So Kentucky's different. Uh, seems like all of our kids can shoot. All of our kids can handle the ball a little bit better, and uh, we needed every bit of it. Ramsey of Birmingham, Alabama, was Scott County's most physical opponent to date. The physicality of the game worried me uh, because we hadn't seen that yet. We had seen more of a finesse game, um, and, you know, and it's really good for us because coming into this week, you know, with Madison Central, Manuel, who's going to be big, uh, you know, Southwestern will have some big kids, and then coming into, you know, as we get into the Classic in the next few weeks, we're going to see some big kids, big bodies, and, uh, you know, definitely uh, the teams down in Florida, I mean, they, they were built. Uh, these were women. Uh, you know, the, the Ramsey team looked like an SEC team as far as their size. Uh, we, we were just blessed that they never did get going from outside. Uh, I thought KT, KT muscle-wise matches up with anybody. Uh, Malaya, it did take her a little bit, but boy, once she got going, they had a hard time with her athleticism and length. Uh, the, the entire, both tournaments, teams had trouble with her length. Uh, I thought Katie Wise came in and played huge for us. Uh, you know, and, and that gave us some rotation because that championship game against Ramsey, uh, KT and Malaya both had two early fouls. And so we had to, you know, move some people around. Like Timmy came in and, and held her on. We dropped Malia down uh, and she had to play that big guard. And, you know, she was matched up against 6'1", six, 6'0", six a couple times. So, but that's good for her to get her used to that next level because that's what she's going to see, you know, when she gets down to, to Tech. Scott County's guard play was sensational over the holidays. Juliet ran the show. Juliet got the ball. Uh, you know, she was always calm, cool, and collected. You know, between Juliet and Bradley handling the ball for us. Uh, Malia, I mean, just stepping up and playing incredible against good competition. And that's what we went down there for. We went to see good competition because there was a couple times she walked off the court and she looked at me funny because I was staring her down. And I told her, that's a big time move. I mean, she, she was making D1 moves. Uh, against D1 competition. Uh, and then you have Morgan, and I think the deal with Morgan was, I think they tried to challenge her. Uh, you know, and, and you challenge Morgan to four, you're in trouble because she's gonna come get you. Uh, and Morgan just played incredible the entire tournament. Uh, she kept her emotions in check and just played the game and had fun playing the game. But I, I really go back to, she got challenged a couple games by some athletic kids and, you know, if you walk in the gym, Morgan's not going to pass the airport test, but she's going to pass the high IQ test. She's going to pass the, the kid who can flat out shoot it. She's going to flat out pass it. 
she's going to beat you, and she's going to find a way to beat you, uh, and especially when she gets uh, someone looks at her and says, hey, I'm better than you. So, uh, Morgan, just a great team effort all the way around. The Lady Cards are ranked number one in Kentucky, but still believe that doubters exist. And we got to get better. You know, we, we've got to come in here uh, three games, four days, uh, then we'll come back for a couple days of light workouts and then Dunbar here on the next Tuesday, and then we get a week to practice, and that's what I'm excited about. Um, you know, I, I think we're still fighting for respect. You know, we've played 12 games, and at least seven of them have been against out-of-state opponents, so I think there's a lot of critics uh, in the state of Kentucky who wants to see what we can do against Kentucky, uh, and I think we're up to that challenge. Uh, we're going to use that as motivation because, you know, th these kids have to fight and claw and scratch for everything they get, whether it be in the hallways here in the Scott King High School or whether it be, uh, you know, in the state or, or, or nationally. These kids uh, know that, you know, when you're on top, somebody's got to find a chink, and, and they want to they knock you down. Uh, so our kids got to come ready to play every night, no matter who it is, no matter what the opponent is. Uh, but, you know, it, it's great for them to be, at least see, hey, you know, some people are starting to recognize this could be a pretty good team. Uh, you know, you're not going to win a championship in December, uh, but uh, you can start putting some things together in December that carries you into January uh, to, to definitely at least give us an idea of where we are. Friday's battle against Manuel is a revenge game for the Lady Cards. Uh, so, very important for us to get off uh, to a good home stretch. And then when it comes down to it, here comes Manuel on Friday. Um, we're ready. Um, it'll be a, a, a huge test for us, but uh, I've already pulled out state tournament stats from last year. So, uh, whatever we need, we're going we're gonna to take care of. All right, that was Coach Helton. He's happy with the results down in Florida and Tennessee as well. One of the things he was worried about coming into this season was the depth after losing seven seniors couple of the players that have stepped up. One is a sophomore, Kaylee Wise. You're seeing her get more action. And when the cards get into foul trouble down low with Williams and Tompkins, she's been the one to step up. And Timothy Williams, they call her Timmy. She's a freshman. She started as an eighth grader at Frederick Douglass, but she's finding her range with the Lady Cards. Let's see what Kaylee and Timmy had to say about their experiences on the road and looking forward to the rest of the season. Timmy Williams enjoyed her first out-of-state trip with the Cardinals. Yeah, um, it was very fun. Uh, we got to bond a little bit more. It's definitely different since I'm a new player on the team. Everybody's been around each other, so just team bonding for real. It's a great part of basketball to like play games, but like you won't always remember every sport, every game. But this is something you'll definitely remember for a lifetime. It's all the experiences you got to make with your teammates or like becoming like your family on these trips. Both Williams and Wise were essential off the bench in Florida. Palm Beach was very physical and. Tennessee was more so just trying to play it together as a team just because we, um, we had greater competition in both tournaments, but it was just like a test because uh, well, like, all the teams play a different type of basketball. <laughs> Florida was a lot different. It was a lot more physical, especially later in the tournament. So we had to come more like mentally and physically prepared for those games. Scott County will play four games in the first seven nights of January. We just have to... Um, increase our intensity and just making sure that we don't turn the ball over as much as we do in Kentucky just because when we play better teams we can't really afford it. Yeah it's definitely a test we'll have to make sure we stay focused and just keep pushing and don't let the short turnarounds get to us. Practice will help the two key reserves continue to find their roles. It's just about um, adding your own little two cents into the game so as long as you're working hard and you put all into it, it's going to come back and affect you in the long run. Yeah, next week we'll definitely get to like regroup and come together because we've been so busy. Just this like kind of like week to work will be really good for us.